What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brie. Happy New Year. It's not quite the New Year yet when this video goes up, but just telling you Happy New Year ahead of time. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of the, one of my, excuse me, BFF videos. So as you saw by the title, we're doing a get ready with me, but the New Year's Eve edition. Um, so I'm not doing anything like too, too crazy for New Year's, but going to dinner with friends. So I wanted to, of course, show you guys how I would get ready for something like that. I'm just getting ready for like a New Year's Eve dinner. And I feel like it's something that can be versatile where you can dress it up, dress it down, all the good things. So of course I've already done my hair, as you can see, I usually don't, well, I try not to get on here looking this crazy <laughs> but yeah but pin curled my hair so I will show y'all the finished products with that and then of course I will be showing you guys an outfit and then makeup all the good stuff so yeah so before we get started make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it comment down below your thoughts on my New Year's Eve edition like get ready with me what your plans are for New Year's Eve if you have any if you're chilling at home you're getting out for dinner or you are the type that just like goes out out <laughs> let me know down in the comments and of course, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future BFF videos. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, y'all, so of course I didn't want to talk through what I usually do as far as like prepping my um, eyes and eyebrows and face and all the things. So yep, so now we are going to be getting into the eye look. I figured I would talk through this portion. So of course it's New Year's Eve. You got to get smoky eye glam, all the things. So I do have these two palettes and they were both Christmas gifts. Um, so this first one here, I don't know if I'll be able to use it. I finally got a Pat McGrath palette, y'all. If y'all been watching me, you know I've been wanting one. Um, and I sent this one to my husband for Christmas from Sephora. Y'all, and it's on sale right now. And all of their sale products, you get an additional 20% off. So if you want this palette, go get it ASAP. <laughs> so um, I finally got my hands on one and she is beautiful. If I can open her. So these are, uh oh, let me not mess it up. So these are the colors, super pretty. I feel like it's a good like wide range. So I wanted to do like a green smoky eye because I was doing a green outfit, but I figured that may not work for everybody. So I think I might just keep it simple and do a smoky eye. So my parents got, um, it was like a part of like a little gift set they got for me, but I have a Dior. Um, this is their five colors couture. Um, their high color eyeshadow wardrobe long wear creamy powder palette so um, these are some pretty shades as well love the dior packaging and then it came with these shades here uh oh <laughs> so i don't use those but yeah but i thought those were super pretty this is in the shade cosmic eyes um so yeah so i figured this might be better to work with because then i figured most people have these colors and stuff and then i want the eye look to be kind of like universal no matter what you're wearing so yeah so i think we're gonna stick to the dior palette um so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so you of course you know i gotta go in with a transition shade and i feel like hmm this one may work right here in the Pat McGrath palette. I guess I'll use it. And this is in the shade Heavenly Bronze, possibly. I feel like that's what it is. Heavenly Bronze. Hopefully. <laughs> that makes, well, no, that doesn't make sense. I think Desert 
Divinity. Yeah, I'm sorry. Desert Divinity is that shade. So then I'm going to go in with that brown shade. So I'm just going to take a good old fluffy brush. Tap, tap, tap. You do not have to tap hard like I just did because a lot of it just cut out. And let's see how it's looking. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. So it's kind of like a ashy brown a little bit, but then like not too ashy. But I feel like it, it is a good like transition shade. this palette of course we're gonna go ahead and go in with the black shade right here I'm just gonna take like a little pointed brush and this black shade like does have glitter in it so be aware if you do get this palette and I'm just gonna keep it in the outer V Ooh, it is baked into it <laughs> are looking good so far so let's see I want to get into these shades here I think I'm gonna go in hmm, I think I'm gonna do with this, this little dark gray one right here sorry if y'all can see that I'm gonna tap into it I'm gonna put in the middle first Ooh, that is pretty actually we're gonna go all over the lid <laughs> Okay, so I'm loving the eyes so far. Of course, they look a little dark, but I think once you know you add eyeliner, lashes, all the things that look good. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into foundation, concealer, all those things. We'll talk through that because nothing much has really changed with that. Um, but just sit back and watch.
right y'all so this is the final look i'm just gonna say i did that and second i hope that this looks comes out how i want it to on actual new year's eve so i was like okay we did something here um i love this dior eyeshadow palette so make sure you get your hands on it you can go to nordstrom and pick it up and once again it is i'll have a link down below but it's the um cosmic eyes one I feel, I feel like this is just perfect to help you get like that smoky eye look and it's just pretty so of course you know I've done the lips yet and whatnot but I'm gonna get into that but I'm going to go unpin this hair <sighs> I'm trying to decide so I'm wearing um, a strapless um, tube top velvet top um, you saw it in my how to style like a holiday outfit my Christmas for vlogmas video so I'm gonna be wearing that but I'm gonna switch it up and wear it with jeans since we are going to somewhat of like a casual dinner but still want to be a little cute so I'm gonna put that on so um, as I mentioned in that video it'd be very cute if you had an updo kind of going but I don't know because I put so much effort into curling my hair we're gonna see so next clip I will be fully dressed and then I will show y'all how I'll be styling this um, New Year's Eve outfit so stay tuned <music> So hopefully you can see me I haven't checked my camera out just yet but this is the final makeup look I loved how it came out a little bit of a close-up here I feel like it's super pretty definitely perfect for New Year's so let's go ahead and get into what the outfit looks like okay y'all so I don't have all my jewelry on of course so sorry I'm <laughs> really this is like filming my way at a time not doing nothing so I was like you know what y'all get a little bit and I love it <laughs> so this is the final look I feel like this is a perfect like it's still dressy, but then it's also still not doing too, too much, which I really like, especially because if you're doing just regular dinner, of course, you still want to be festive, but you don't want to be too over the top. I feel like this is perfect. And I love that I could kind of mix up like the velvet and the leather pants. So y'all have seen these on my channel if you're not new to my channel. Um, so I just like to, you know, repurpose or reuse and all the things. So this green velvet bodysuit, or it's not a bodysuit, it's just a velvet top 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 <laughs> tube top y'all <laughs> um it is from express it is a part of their body contour collection um i believe it is still available if it is of course i will have it linked down below but super cute the leather pants i got from marshall's i mean they come with a belt but i personally don't like the belt um so yeah but these are super cute and i like how they are wide leg the only thing is i hate that they're kind of pleated so if you are a little bit you know hippier you, as you can see it kind of will pull or it'll kind of pull out the um pockets but you know what it's still fine and i love that this top can like cover it still so you don't have like too much showing unless you want to but I feel like it's still, you know, conservative. And then just went with this little black purse here. Went with a diamond necklace. And then I just decided to leave my hair down. But once again, since this is, you know, a tube top basically, you have, since you have your shoulders and neckline out, it would be super cute to have your hair up to do something. Maybe just have a few little tendrils kind of framing the face and then doing like some really cute like long earrings and whatnot. I think that would be a super cute moment um, and then I just decided to pair it with these black pumps these are from Steve Madden super cute I feel like every girl needs a classic like black pump and even like a nude pump this color um, but yeah I feel like this is super cute perfect for dinner and then if you decide to go out somewhere you're still comfortable because you got on pants <laughs> um, and then you know if the weather is a little bit cooler of course you can put um, an overcoat over this I feel like a blazer would even look cute over this um, I think Express had a blazer or has one in this exact same color, same material. So that would be super cute. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys some options, uh, but this is the look. All right, y'all. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me get ready for a New Year's Eve out. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. A comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Once again, Happy New Year. I hope you guys have a great New Year and a safe New Year. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.